Hello kids, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to explore a very interesting topic, how to use a word processor. The word processor is a powerful tool on your computer that can help you create and edit your very own stories, letters, or even write your homework effortlessly. By the end of this session, you'll know how to open a word processor, type like a pro, fix mistakes, and make your documents look neat and professional. Are you excited? Let's get started! To begin, what is word processing? Think of word processing as having a special notebook on your computer. Unlike paper, this digital notebook allows you to easily write edit, and even decorate your text. To use Word, it's important to make sure you have Microsoft Office installed on your computer. Word is powered by Microsoft and is part of Microsoft's Office Suite. If you don't already have Microsoft Office, you might need to ask an adult for help to get it set up. Once you've confirmed that Microsoft Office is installed on your PC, Let's proceed to locate the Word application. Look at your screen and find the Start button at the bottom left. Click it and in the search bar, type Word. When the app appears, click on it to open Microsoft Word. Now you have Word opened. The first important thing is to learn to use it to type. When it comes to typing on your computer, whether it's in a word processor or any other application, your keyboard is the tool to look onto. Let's take a basic keyboard lesson that can improve your typing skills. Place your fingers on the home row keys, A, S, D, F for your left hand and J, K, L for your right. Type these letters simultaneously without looking at your screen. How is it going? Now try to type the sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. When typing, remember to keep your fingers on the home keys we just showed you and then reach out to the others as the need arises. Did you try typing the sentence? I bet you didn't know that it contains every letter in the English alphabet. Once you become fluent in typing, the next step should be learning to make your document appealing to you and people that might view it. Have you ever wondered what will happen when you're typing and make a mistake? Is it possible to erase it? Or how can I make some texts in my document stand out? If these thoughts have crossed your mind, then stay with us as we're about to answer all of your questions. To correct a mistake in Microsoft Word, just move your cursor to the error and press the backspace key to delete it or select the text and press the delete key and it will be erased. If you unknowingly delete a text you didn't intend to delete, you can hold down the control key and the letter Z. This shortcut helps you undo your last action and you'll have your text back. Did you already know this shortcut? If not, congratulations on adding a new gem in your shortcuts bank. Once your text is in place, you can enhance its appearance with formatting tools. Formatting helps you organize your document and makes it more visually appealing. To get started, highlight the text you want to format. For example, if you want a title to stand out, you might choose to make it bold. You can do this by highlighting it and selecting the bold option typically represented by a B as seen in your tools bar at the top of your screen. If you want words to have a slanted, elegant look, you can italicize them using the I button. Underlining text is also another way to emphasize key points, and you can do this by clicking the U button next to the I option. To personalize your document even more, you can change the style of its fonts, font size and even color. Font size can also be used to add emphasis to certain parts of your document like headings and subheadings. 
To make your document look clean and organized, consider using one of the alignment options available in Word. These features can help you center a title, justify your paragraphs, or align text to the left or right. Basically, they allow you to control how your content is positioned on the page. Word formatting tools also helps to improve the readability of your work. With these skills, you can turn a simple piece of text into an organized document that you can share with your peers, parents and teachers. After all the hard work you put into writing and formatting your document, you'll want to save it so you can always refer to it later. To save your work, go to the top of your screen and click on File. Then choose Save As. Choose the folder where you want to save the file. For example, click on this PC if you want to save the document in your computer and then click on the folder where you want to save your document. I am going to save mine in the desktop folder. Give your document a name. Now click on save and it's done. This action will create a file that you can open and edit later. If you need to share your document and don't want anyone to change it, you can save it as a PDF. In Word, click File, then Save As, and choose PDF from the options. Now that you know the basics of word processing, it's time to put what you've learned into practice. Here's a little exercise for you. In not more than 500 words, write an essay titled My Dream Classroom. Endeavour to use all the formatting you've learned in this video and submit it to our email linked in the description. You could use your parents' email to send it if you don't already have one. In the coming weeks, we'll teach you how to set up an email so you can send out lots of messages to your friends, teachers and family across the globe. Remember to keep practicing all that you've learned and soon you'll become a pro at using Microsoft Word. Did you like this video? Give it a like and share with your friends so they can also become Word Masters. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that and ring that notification bell so that you'll always be alerted when we make new videos tailored just for you. Thanks for staying with us. We'll see you in the next one.